principal, Dr. C. P. Sharma sir, and all the senior faculty members. सेलिब्रेशन प्रोग्राम में और क्रिस कंपटीशन प्रोग्राम में आप सभी का स्वागत है जो से धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूँ और इस तरह की इवेंट्स और एक्टिविटीज होती रहें स्टूडेंट्स से भी मैं आग्रह करता हूँ कि आप यू जी एन पी स्टूडेंट्स इंटर्न्स ऑल ऑफ यू मस्ट एक्टिवली पार्टिसिपेट इन सच एक्टिविटीज बिकॉज एक रूटीन क्लासरूम टीचिंग से थोड़ा हटके इस तरह की एक्टिविटीज बेहद और बहुत ज़रूरी होती है इसी ऑब्जेक्टिव के साथ ये प्रेस कॉम्पिटिशन आज आपके सामने है और जो भी विनर्स होंगे इस कॉम्पिटिशन के जो विजेता होंगे और साथ ही साथ जो पार्टिसिपेंट्स भी होंगे उन सभी के उत्साहवर्धन के लिए उन सभी को उनकी मोटिवेशन के लिए हम आकर्षक उपहार भी अनाउंस करते हैं इस मंच से मैं चाहता सिर्फ ये हूँ कि आप लोग अच्छे से पढ़ाई करें Respected principals, sir, senior faculty members, my colleagues, and beloved students. Today we all gather here to celebrate our one and only master, Dr. Hanuman, sir. The 10th April is honored all over the world as World Homeopathy Day. In various institutions, organizations, international platforms, this day is celebrated in various possible ways. Like, for example, research-oriented. Um, seminars are being conducted or like institution like ours where we honor Dr. Hanuman with garlands and candles. But, now whenever there is but, there is a clause related with that but. And that clause is that, how do we perceive 10th of April and what do we learn from it? I'm sure the intention is very pure and positive, but the point of order if you're learning something and that is something he hold on to. With limited income of his father, the last money he got from his father was just 20 dollars. That's nothing but 20 silver coins. That's the last he got from his father when he moved to Leipzig to follow the entire passion that he had for himself. We all say that the hard, hard work is one thing but meeting the right opportunities and paving it all along life create path, path for, for ourselves. He made sure that with his entire teachers which were really keen for paying his own fees also he met those people who was ready to take him to different places he learned his clinical practice through just mercy and he got that through only because of his determination so that determination that regularity opened and carved his own path of excellence and that is something that we have to learn to be self-dependent he did not take it just for granted. He made it for himself. Apart from this, a lot of autobiographies also tell that how kind and grateful he was as a person. He mentions in his autobiographies a great thanks to all his teachers who always stood by him. How often do we thank our teachers? And in today's world, I don't think so that is there any value for what we get from our teachers. Because we just take it for granted because we are getting paid for that. But he made sure, in all his autobiographies, if you, were, if you have read it, he made sure that he mentions each one of them and he told the story how grateful he was for, uh, for all of them to make what he is right now. After his long day at work, he made sure that he sits with his family and friends. He used to have conversations with his daughters, with his wife, with babies. He really appreciated Chinese people that time because the amount of values they incorporated in their children, the value and the respect he wanted their he wanted his kids to have those. He he, he actually raised the entire family like an old German tradition. So that family oriented man he was apart from how brilliant he was as a person as a discoverer. We will carry ten marks each, and if you can't get can get it right or you do not answer then this question will automatically pass on to the next team in sequence. And the bonus points will be plus 5. And point one person, if there is a tie, then we will have to ask a tiebreaker question. So any query? 
one thing here here 14a who is the father of dr hanneman option a christoph hanneman option b christian gottfried hanneman option c leopold hanneman and option d sus hanneman option b christian gottfried hanneman oh that was too quick
and as a, no, we can't play with the rules here. So any other team? What's the answer? No. Okay. So this team will have to leave as per rules. Team A, please a big round of applause for Team A. From Latin to English. What is the basic difference from clinical point of view between a homeopathic aggravation, medicinal aggravation and disease aggravation? Practical point of view. Not taking elaborate the clear cut distinguishing features between homeopathic, medicinal, and disease generation. Two hands are raised. The first was raised by Dr. Ampur. So I welcome you first to give the answer. Thank you. So by the books, so you can leave with me. Like you can take a any case, for example, any skin case or any other disease. This may have medicines prescribed here. Uh, uh, just say, uh, basic, any case, we have a set of symptoms. If we have a homeopathic aggravation, then the set of symptoms will be taken away. It will slightly aggravate. And then, after that, कम होता है, slight aggravation के बाद फिर cure होना चालू होता है, तो ये homeopathic aggravation होगा। अगर कोई medicinal aggravation होगा, तो जो set of symptoms हैं, उसमें वो medicine के symptom जो हमने दी है, उसका symptom निकल के आएगा। अगर यहीं पर disease aggravation होगा, जो disease pathology से related symptom है आगे के, वो उस patient में निकल के आएगा, तो हमें पता चलेगा ये disease aggravating, not the medicine aggravation। Medicine में medicine के symptom आ रहे हैं और जो homeopathic हैं, उसमें जो symptom वो present करके आ रहा है, वो ही aggravate कर रहा है तो जो होम इफ इट इस अ होमियोपैथिक एग्रेवेशन देन सिम्टम्स जो एग्रेवेट हो रहे हैं जी वो सिम्टम्स दे बिलोंग टू मेडिसिन और द डिजीज दे बिलोंग टू द पर्सन दैट इस अ होमियोपैथिक एग्रेवेशन जो थोड़ा यहाँ पे और लॉबरेट करो देन आई वुड बी सेटिस्फाइड विथ योर आंसर यू आर वेरी नियर � सर डिस्टिंग्विश जो मेन होमोपैथिक में और मेडिसिन में मेन डिस्टिंग्विशिंग पॉइंट यही होगा कि मान लीजिए ए बी सी डी ये चार सिम्टम लेके पेशेंट आ रहा है तो यही ए बी सी डी सिम्टम्स जो हैं इसी में एग्रेवेशन अगर हुआ तो डेट इस होमोपैथिक एग्रेवेशन लेकिन अगर यस यस पॉज दिस इज व्हाट ही present in the case when you first recorded the case. You prescribed, you selected your cinema. You Our finalist team. So team C will not raise the hand for the further question. Okay? And first say, Dr. Principal sir has given a very detailed and nice explanation of our kind of observations in a simple language. So we are privileged sir to learn from you. So this is going to be quite an educative uh, kind of story. So next. Question, I would like to request Dr. Akshay sir to please ask the team. Questions to my question. Dr. Anivin, how many brothers were you? One brother, two brothers, 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 two brothers. Two brothers, I don't have any options because I don't know what to say. Yes, P. Undi. Yes, please, please wait. So, समझ के बोलना, because then it has to be right if you want to be here. Wrong. ये option था क्या sir? Option था। Okay. दो भाई including doctor हैनीवर, दो भाई excluding doctor हैनीवर। Excluding. भाई मतलब excluding ही हुआ ना? और ये आप थोड़ा near के साथ। 
प्रोटीन डी तो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वो टीम सिनेलेमा एंड द क्वेश्चन इज नंबर ऑफ इयर्स टेकन बाय डॉक्टर हैनीमैन क्रॉनिक डिजीजेस टू गेट पब्लिश्ड ऑप्शन ए 11 ऑप्शन बी 12 option b 13 and option d 10 years you will not answer right now just wait i'll say your time start now then you will answer so your option b 20 years okay so answer is correct so dr hanuman actually took only 2 years for the discovery of miasmatic concept of chronic disease diseases but the book took 12 years long 12 years So he was such a veteran. He took only two years for this discovery. The publishing of acute miasm. Option A, smallpox. Option B, cowpox. Option C, rabies. Option D, measles. Option C, rabies. Correct answer. But how did you measure? Well, we have three rounds actually. Second round itself. So next question. Next question is to T to which. Hanneman refers to in his book chronic diseases. Option A is smallpox. Option B measles. Option C is scarlet fever. And option D is typhus. Wait. Your time starts now. running लास्ट में जो ऑप्शन है वो तुमने पढ़ा था कि लियो पोल्ड इनके बेटे थे ठीक है ऑप्शन बी विलियम और लास्ट कौन सा वो किसी को नहीं पता नो नो इट्स अ लास्ट डिसेंडेंट क्वेश्चन पासेस टू टीम सेमेलेमम मुझे लगता है ओके दे आर नॉट अटेम्प्टिंग सो एनीबॉडी वुड लाइक टू आंसर अमंग द स्टूडेंट anybody knows mere hisab se d nobody d the man you hold was sun in first question if you remember last kaun sa last descendant okay so see kar do so we pass on this to audi देखो कौन सा ऑप्शन किया था किसने डी ऑप्शन किया या दैट्स अ करेक्ट आंसर माय गॉड थैंक यू देयर वाज अ फोटोग्राफ आल्सो यू कुड हैव रिकॉग्नाइज्ड दिस दिस फोटो व्हेन यू पुट द इनके दिस होम्योपैथिक कॉलेज ऑफ लंदन दिस पिक कम्स ऑफ ऑन विद द नेम ओके आई वुड लाइक टू जस्ट डिस्क्राइब द ट्री हाउ दिस इज द लास्ट वन द डॉक्टर वाज एमिली एज वी हैड इन द लास्ट क्वेश्चन Emily had this, uh, this and the son Leopold. Mm. And the Leopold youngest daughter was Amelia. And then Amelia son Winifred. Winifred son William Herbert Tankard Hanneman and his son Charles Tankard Hanneman. That's the last one. Great 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 grandson. Okay. Correct. 
from the Huntington House Court. Very good. Very good. Sorry, I'm sorry. Did they get this bonus? And the next question is again to the audit team. Where did Dr. Hanneman first use the term homeopathy? Was it option A, essay written indication of the homeopathic employment of medicines in ordinary practice? Option B, chronic diseases. Option C, medicine of experience. And option D, essay on a new principle of ascertaining the curative power of drugs and some examination of the previous principles. And your time starts now. Option A, essay indication of the homeopathic. That's the correct answer. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yes. Okay, for the team, no more. Which of the chemistry work is not an original work of Dr. Hanneman? So focus on not. Option A is not original work. Dealing with coal and ways in moving this fuel. Option B, preservation of mineral alkaline salt by means of potash and kitchen salt. Option C, poisoning by arsenic, is treatment and judicial investigation. Option D, art of distilling B. And your time starts now. उसमें दो उस टीम में हैं दोनों सारा में दोनों बहुत पढ़ते हैं और उन्होंने कि तो वो लोग का दही महान है बहुत ज़्यादा है तो तीन वाले Option A, specific medicine, option B, similimum, option C, medicine, and option D, drug. And your time starts now. Again, I have a cheap question. We all know what is the difference between uh, similar medicine and drugs, so I think we should not waste time on this. So next question for the team. Or okay. Name the first cemetery where Dr. Hanneman was buried. Focus on first. First. Dr. Aditi, you are telling every time, so that's a good thing. Focus, focus. <laughs> okay. Seriously, first. So option A is Pere Lache. Pere Lache. Option B, Mount Mate. Option C, George Anthel. Option D, Ardiyah. Why do you have to read all of them? They can give them an answer. Correct. 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 Seriously? Next question goes 
Fragmenta de viribus medicamentorum positivis, positivis saif in sino corpero humano observated. Is written in which language? Option A English, option B Latin, option C German, and option D French. And your time starts now. मोस्टली लैटिन में होती ना वर्ड्स ऐसे सीरियसली स्टेफ इनकी बीवी थी वो दोस्त है साइन किसने किया हाँ इन्हें बहुत जल्दी थी वाइफ ही होंगी कौन है किसका कौन सी टीम का है ऑप्शन पता नहीं आई थिंक इनका है लास्ट नोवम का इनकी डेथ अजीब हुई थी इसमें एक क्वेश्चन पूछ सकते जब ये एक्सपायर हुए थे इनकी डेथ हुई थी तो कितने लोग थे ये कुछ स्वामी सने She always has questions. Okay, so who was, what was the original German word used by Dr. Hanuman in place of mission? Yes. So the next question goes to team. And this is the last question of this round. I think second, first, first option. What are poisons and what are medicines? Option C, the medicine of... Order will tell you. I will say option A. Let's see what happens. Two, two, two. I don't know. I'll get confused. Second, it's not. Option C, medicine of experience. Medicine of experience. Option C, medicine of experience. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, this is not the answer. Oh, shit. So it passes on to... You're wrong. Yeah, second one. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> this was the expected one, but no. Mm. No, no, but we can pass on now because two options are already done. Now, where's the other one? Yes, correct. 
ऑप्शन बी है वाटर वाटर मेडिसिन क्या जीत है मतलब डॉक्टर बहुत बड़ा है तो अलग है यार बाबू राजेंद्र लाल दत्ता में लगे हुए इनका फोटो देखा है ये भी बता और डिपार्टमेंट में लगे हैं नो प्रॉम्प्टिंग प्लीज फ्रॉम द ऑडियंस प्लीज नो प्रॉम्प्टिंग वी वांट अ वेरी एक्साइटिंग राउंड नेक टू नेक वाला क्रिकेट वाला मजा आना चाहिए ये जीरो बट सुने ये क्या टीम भी आप अपन डिस्कस करते हैं क्लोज तो ऐसे नहीं थे रॉबर्ट एच रॉबर्ट्स हां या ऐसा करेक्ट हुआ एच रॉबर्ट्स कैन सो इजी क्या है ये मतलब ये क्या अंदर से वाला ये कैंडी 
Okay, so we can do again a question kind of a thing like we did for in the last one. He looked for something. Okay, so then we will give, but ma'am, if we, we, we have to discard then in that case. And questions we have uh, counted question for the team. So yep. either we, we, should, we can give the team even after prompting or we'll have to discard then. Then we can give. आता ही होगा ये तो 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 आता ही होगा देखा मैं पहली बार इनको और ऐसा कौन है कोई इंडियन होंगे पैर जो बहुत फेमस है मतलब इनका क्या मतलब आंसर नहीं दोगे जो लेकिन वो इन्होंने पहले एक आंसर दिया था इंडियन होंगे पैर का दत्ता करके कहा था ना
Yes, it's a question for all eight. Elizabeth right? Elizabeth right? Don't know which way again. Because mainly female come in, isn't it? Yeah. This is the last one. This is the last one. Don't miss me. Come on, the lady. Dr. Elizabeth Wright about Emil Tyler. So the question passes on still. Question passes to team Similimum. Yes, yes. 